end of the day, it's winning. That's it. It's my willingness to put in more time and effort than other people will. That's my work ethic. You, baby! You! I wouldn't care at all about something, or I would put literally everything into it. Like, there was no in-between at all. This is Canadian Unstoppable. It was something I kind of learned from baseball. My dad used to say, on every single play, like when you're out in the field, think, what happens if a fly ball's hit to me, ground ball's hit to me, or no ball's hit to me? So it's just kind of assessing every possible scenario. I've taken that approach to every position I play, like all the different scenarios, just running them through and where my teammates could be, where the enemy could be, all that. So I'm a captain, I learned from coaches not only how to act, but how not to. If you're gonna be the guy telling someone else that they should be doing something, you also have to like be able to take responsibility. Do I need to drone anything specific, Brandon, over here? Who's gonna listen to a guy that's criticizing you all the time, but says, oh no, but I'm perfect. There's tons of players that didn't grow up playing sports and they're more often worse teammates where they will say things that you shouldn't say to a teammate. There's some players on my team where I don't say anything to them in terms of criticism because they're like me where they already know. And then there's some that do need to be reminded of it. They just want to hear whatever you have to say to improve. I definitely think it means more just because like in my past, that kind of camaraderie of like, when we have a good round, my teammates right beside me and they all have my back and they, they care for me and it's the same for me towards them at the end of the day, I want all five of us to be the best. Then I'm the best, right?